Right, in this one, I continue to sift out a pocket in the base clay below a high eroded bank on the Ohio River, searching for ancient Native American artifacts. Then I travel to a dump where I'm looking for marbles, toys, and bottles. So I hope you enjoy. Later. See this here? This is how I dig. It's a real slow process. I'm scraping this base clay. They raised the water a little bit here in this hot spot I'm at. So I'm scraping in about a foot of water and I'm using my shovel as a probe. And I'm peeling that stuff up off the base clay and getting it in my shovel. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear the fired rock scraping on my shovel. When I do it so slow, it's almost like putting down in there on the underside of the water, you know, in the dirt. So you're never breaking nothing. You're just pushing and it's going through it like butter. Look at that. This is loaded in here too. There's flakes from the manufacturer of ancient artifacts in every screen. And I can just, I'll find something in here even though it's underwater more. This feels awesome. It feels awesome. I'll get back when I find some. Well, I, I just did that clip where I was feeling in here and I found like a knife, an arrowhead and multiple other little flake tools and stuff in here in my last video in two hours. I come back, start scraping in the same place and you see this in the screen. Let me get this over to my boat. I got an awesome point. I haven't even looked through all this. Right there's a flake, right there's a flake, right there's a flake, right there's a flake, right there's a flake of Coshocton. I don't see anything else. But do you see this point? Holy mackerel. I'd say, wait, let me get this flint in here. It's hard to hold this. I'd say this is something middle or cake. Oh, it's nice. Look here. That's nice, man. Oh, man, that's, that's a pretty nice point. I, I found a lot of pentagonals in here, and I found a lot of pentagonal darts, and I'd say this is pentagonal related. It's that mid or cakey looking, like a 6,500 year old point, maybe. That's beautiful, though. A day maker already, fake. Back here, taking a break. I'm getting ready to go. Um, thought I'd just give you a look at this point here. I found other stuff too. That's a beauty. It's heat treated shirt and it's a pentagonal related point. It's like a pentagonal. I'd say it was used as a knife. You can see the use on the side there. Little hafted knife. It's beautiful. All right. These, I have other stuff from that same stretch of river. Here's this point. Um, it's a, it's in with the pentagonal point. See, there's a pentagonal bit, and here's another one. They're like the darts that go along with the pentagonals, but this is kind of, it's a mid archaic. It's related to the brewer and stuff, and you know, let me get up here. I'll show you. I just found this Brewerton point a foot off of that, and they're related in time. They're both like 6,000 year old pieces. You can watch me find this one in my last video. Later, folks. I'll get right back to doing this. If you want to watch an in, more in-depth analysis of what I'm doing here, watch my last video. I'll put it up at the end on the left. Um, I'll go into more detail of how I'm finding this stuff, and I'll find more stuff here for in a couple more hours. I'm gonna dig right here, I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna dig out these holes in the base clay like I talked about in my last video. I'll get back on my next one. I'm gonna turn this on because I got another thing, a knife. It almost looks paleo. Um, from here, you see it? I'll have to carry this over to my boat because I'm in water, but this is just look at the fired ancient rock. Of course, there's modern glass at the river, but there, look, flakes of manufacture of ancient artifacts from the manufacturer. I'll get back and we'll pick up. There's another flake. All right. There's the first one. Look at that beauty. Now, right here, there's something. Look at that. It's probably not paleo, but we'll see. And see the flakes. I'll have to look through the rest of this, but that ain't bad. You know. That's probably an Adina. I'd say that's what it is. See the shoulders on it. 
I thought it was a lance, but that's some kind of a Dina. That's a woodland period point. It's a crude one, but it's still a nice font. All right, here's this little Adina point. It's been used heavily, sharpened down, but this is what I would say it is. It's a Cressup style Adina. You can see location West Virginia into Kentucky, and I've found more classic ones there. This is just a clunker one, kind of. It's what it is. You can see the dates there, 3,000 to 2,500 years before present. Look here, here I found in my sister. Little, <laughs> little boy. Take him out here. Here, folks. Here he goes. Look here, digging. The digger. Look here, folks. You eating dirt? Look at this. I got my hands full, don't I? Now he's playing in the mud. All right, I hope you enjoyed, folks. <laughs> Look here. Look here. Big boy's going, he's going wild. Squirrel man. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right, folks, later. All right. I started this hole in here, and I got a marble. That's what I'm looking for. There's a fly on it. There he went. But I'm working on a frame of marbles, and this is what I'm after. Is this nice? Oh, it looks it. This is an older area of the dump. And the newest stuff I'm seeing is 1940s. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that swirl. Wow. This is a day maker. Oh, it's nice. It's beautiful, folks. All right, I'll try to get more. This might be an alley. Looks like it right in there. Man, that's nice, huh? Look at that. Wow, folks. That's what I'm looking for. Where'd it go? See how this changes to this iron colored orange layer? It's where the marbles are coming out, right here. What is that? It's a swirl. This might be something older. Yeah, it's just got a light. It's like a, a lesser swirl from a bag, but it's still nice. Yeah, this is a little swirl. You can see it's kind of gray-blue with another blue swirl to it. But under a black light, this thing turns bright white. I've never seen anything like it. I'll show you next. See, this marble lights up white. I've never seen anything like this. It's hard to get this, but it's you can even see another swirl to it more so. But this is a really odd marble. Later. This just, you can tell it come right out of that rust layer. See it on there, but wonder what that is. It's like, I think it's cosmetic related, but that's kind of cool. Break out. That's a glass chicken. It looks like it was a stopper, but it didn't matter. All the chickens here, that's nice. That's a cool find, huh? It's probably a bottle stopper. That's nice, though. I just saw that off, and it'll make a little figurine. How cool is that? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Really nice. I like that. It's like leaded glass, too. I just popped a cork bottle out of there. It's some kind of medicine, and I'd say it's a Dr. Caldwell from right here. It come right out of there, so I'm like, get, see, there's more bottles in there, too. Look at them. See what this is. It's what it is, another one. I'm in this, this is going to be nice out of that rust layer, too. It, man, I'll show it to you cleaned up. These are just mint condition bottles. You know, that's only worth seven to ten dollars, but the condition's what makes it. I found, I don't know, 25 of these in the last month. I've seen some of them. I'll clean this one up. I can tell it's clean you know. Well, the last one of these I found not long ago, within the last week, was like a more blue color. This is like kind of Coke bottle 
greenish blue but man what a killer bottle again you know this is a common bottle but the conditions what makes it it's just that's stunning real photogenic they're nice looking bottles no scratches it's just pristine it's nice looking huh i'm happy to find these i'd take a hundred of them you know i just got this awesome swirl but unfortunately it's melted i'll clean it up and show you well it's a real shame on this look at that like lightning line pattern there um but unfortunately it's all fire damaged that's beautiful it would have been later i just raked out a good find there's a little glass baby bottle for a doll oh and it's gonna have something on it let's see oh it's a kangaroo i found these before this is cool it's worth a few bucks later now i got another cool find this is probably a Cracker Jack prize or a cereal prize for one of my finds cases. I already picked it up. What do you think that is? Take a guess. It's a little bunny. Oh, it's cool. It's made out of that real hard plastic. It's got a base. It looks like it even says something we'll say. You know, how cool is this? This is stuff, this plastic is hard as a rock and it's swirled like a marble and Cracker Jack. It is a Cracker Jack prize. Never found that one. That's really nice. It's going to look nice in my fine display case. I love it. Seeing I'm done with this frame but move that yellow goat down there and put that rabbit I just found right up here at the top. Looks awesome. It's, these are worth two or three bucks a piece. We get a brick frame like this and it looks great. Thought I'd show you later. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. I found that Cracker Jack toy over here and this is where I have been digging. So I'm gonna meet this and I'll keep coming back. I'll look for arrowheads too. There's a lot of stuff coming out of here. Look at all the jars and stuff on the ground. Lots of stuff and I got some keepers today. That one marble is beautiful. Later. All right, I also have on like 1,700 videos. Get Scroll back through my content. You'll have more stuff to watch than you can watch in a year. Finding all kinds of treasure in Ohio and West Virginia. See, just a few marbles can really, you know, I find a few more in my next trip. There's that one that glows white, and there's the green one from this video. Now look, just a few more I need, and it'll be done. Later. Thank you.